Welcome back to the Craft Beer Channel. So we're cooking here with Pear uh, at Vic Garden. We're up uh, near the Arctic Circle in Mojon, uh, and we're at Vic Garden, which is one of our favourite places on earth. We've got an amazing pork rib cooking away in the oven, but it takes a couple of hours, so we started messing around in the kitchen. Uh, and last night at a beer dinner, we had some heart-shaped waffles. Yeah. Uh, and we, well, we love putting beer in anything. So we thought, well, we should make some beer waffles, and then Pear has come up with a whole thing. What are we doing? It was kind of exciting because I've never tasted it before and I never tried it. So uh, uh, I used the beer batters for, for frying and stuff, but never in a, in a, in a waffle mix. But uh, let's try and yeah. taste it how it does. Waffle, waffles are a traditional thing and they're yeah, always Yeah, it. it's a very, very traditional thing in Norway. We eat it everywhere, in uh, cafes, at home. It's, it's like uh, everyday food. And uh, it's always heart-shaped. We have this heart-shaped uh, waffle iron. Uh, you asked me why it's like that, I never thought about it. It's like, it's, it's just natural. It's just what the shape yeah. the waffles come in. That's the shape the waffles come in. I feel like they're born that some way. clever marketer. <laughs> yeah, and maybe. Now, I now they're all hard shaped. So what we do, so we've got Saison. So we've got the, we're backing with Bodan, using a Bodan Saison instead of milk. Yeah, we did. So it's, uh, it's eggs, flour and uh, Saison. Yeah. And a bit, and so quantities salt. will be in the description box below. So yeah. we've just wixed. Wixed, we've whisked it up, yeah, uh, and we're just going to make a heart-shaped waffle, yeah, because that's what you do in Norway, right? Shall I, shall I get the door for you, sir? Thank you. I'll get the. Uh... <laughs> there, I think we're good. So while that's cooking away, yeah, we're putting some slightly wacky stuff on top. Yeah, we're we're doing a wacky uh, waffles. Wacky with, waffles. Uh, waff That's what we wacky stuff. We yeah. So uh, we have some fermented uh, char from Satishta. Right. Uh, talk me through this. So this is fermented fish. Yeah, it's fermented fish. Uh, it's been put down in a small amount of salt and uh, just left to itself for some mm -hmm. months to ferment. This is a right. kind of mild. But you could also use uh, just as good use uh, smoked salmon, yep. uh, smoked mackerel. It would be just as good. Okay. Yeah. And what else are we gonna? So we're topping it with that. What else is going on? Uh, we just have some sour cream, uh, sour cream, yeah, and some red onions. Mm -hmm. uh, but we're also boiled uh, eggs. They are just hard-boiled eggs, which we're gonna just split the egg whites and the yolks to make it appear more, uh, more uh, wacky, more, more wacky. And I'm gonna take out the the yellow plum. You call it plum? And you call it a plum? No. No, we don't. You don't. I what don't know what you call it. We call it the yolk. yolk. Yolk, yeah. You egg, call it a plum? Yeah, egg plum. Oh, an egg plum. Use a sieve like this. And I just squeeze the the, the yolk. Just kind of pow powdering it. Yeah. Like that. Wow. I did not know the sieve was capable of that. And then of course we need to use the white. And I take that to uh in another bowl. Right. It's like powdered snow. Yeah. So you have uh, a... <laughs> yeah, at last. Okay, should we have a look? Give it a go. I think it's yeah, ready. Uh... Yeah, it looks good to me. Okay, let's just carefully take it out. So you're saying old ladies take great pride in their waffles, so they yeah. will be trimming carefully to make they sure use, they look. They use a scissor and right. they, they trim it to make it look uh, as it should be. This is thrilling TV. Yeah. <whistles> Looks beautiful. So we just uh, plate it like that. Just make some dollops of uh, sour cream. And some, uh, just some red onions. Bring some red onions. And then we put the fish on. And we add the, the eggs. Arctic snow. Yeah. Yellow snow. Yeah, that's the, yeah, the yellow snow. Yeah. That's I'm what we're going to do. That's some serious <laughs> We're going to eat well. some yellow snow. <laughs> right, let's give this uh, experiment a taste. Yeah. So how do you go about <laughs> uh, Yeah, let's say if I was alone, I would just wrap it in like a package and just stuff it in. A calzone kind of yeah. thing. Yeah. But like, we have to be a bit more cultivated. Now yeah. we're on the screen. Okay, cheers. Mm. Mm. It's good. You say that fish is mild. Yeah. It still really cuts through. Yeah, it does. It's, uh, 
but I, uh, I definitely taste it stronger. But I think it's a nice balance between the the, the sweetness in the in the in the waffles and the, the onions and the sour cream. It's, it's really it's salty good. fish. Yeah, it's really good. It's like every single flavor profile is just hit. Mm. Salivating. I'd probably use a slightly pokier beer. Yeah. See if we can get a bit more beer flavor in the waffle. Uh, cheers, Pat. That is that is a delicious hors d'oeuvre. Um, and if you want to see the amazing pork uh, that Pear cooked up for us, uh, that's in the oven right now, you can uh, click on the things coming up at the bottom. And there's lots more videos coming from Norway as well. So watch out for them. Oh, 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 oh,